Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Drew Brashther with DBB Audio and I'm here with the Behringer Wing. And this video is video 103 talking about how to assign a source to one of our channels. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, make sure to start with the overview or video 101 as they're all going to be a full tutorial line. Let's go ahead and dive in. Now, Behringer has changed their terminology from an input to a source, and I love that they've done that because it just changes your mindset a little bit and makes it a whole lot easier to understand. But we do need to assign those sources to a channel, and we can actually do that in two different spots. One is going to be on the routing page, and the other is directly on the channel. So let's go show you the channel first. So we can simply select a channel, press home, and we can see on this home page that we can select our input right here. And we can select our source group here. And I'm going to be selecting all of my channels from my USB connection from my DAW, which my favorite DAW to use is Reaper. It's very inexpensive and a great product. So I'm going to press USB audio. And this is my channel one, and I'm going to just place my Kick 52 on here. So I'm just going to press Kick 52. And now I have the option to copy my customization that my A2 did on this source. When I gave him my iPad and he was plugging things in up on stage, he was labeling them, and I can now copy those source configurations directly to the channel. For instance, this now says Kick52. It's labeled blue with a logo. So I can simply click and drag this over to my channel, and that will copy this. And when I press done, now I have my Kick 52 and it is labeled on this channel as Kick 52. And I can do that on my next channel by going and pressing my select. I can either do it from the home page or I can select into my channel input module here. And I can select from here, go USB, Kick 901, drag it over, drop it, press done. So those are two different spots that I can do that from. Now, if we did this channel by channel for all 48 channels, it would take a little bit of time. So the faster way of doing this is on the routing page. So let's jump over there next. So here we have our routing page, and we can see our source groups up here. So I can go and select from any of my source groups, but I can't actually change anything, and that is because it's locked. So we can see this lock and unlock button. Now to change any of our routing, we do need to unlock it. So we will just simply press the unlock button, and then I can now press on to my next channels that I want to assign. So let's go ahead and assign my snare top. Now. Right here, I can see my copy customization. So I can either choose to copy my source customization to the channel, or I can choose to copy my channel customization back over to the source. And depending on how you have your console set up, you can choose that on your own. For me, I'm going to be copying my source to the channel. So I'm just going to press source to channel. And now when I press this and press snare top, it will relabel my channel here. Now, if I was to do this on every single channel, it would be a lot of clicking. So Behringer created this button right here called plus one auto. And I can go ahead and press this and show you how it works. We can start back at the beginning and I can simply press kick 52 and kick 901 and there's snare top, snare bottom, and then I'll have my rack and floor and hats. And as you can see, every time I select something, it's automatically advancing to the next channel. Let's go ahead and assign my overheads next. Now. You'll notice that my overheads are stereo. I have a left and a right overhead. And because all of the 48 channels that are available to us on the Behringer Wing are either mono, stereo, or mid-side, it automatically does the routing for us once we select that source. Now, if I was wanting to change a source from mono to stereo or stereo to mono or even mid-side, we would need to do that on the physical sources themselves. So say I had an uh, electric guitar that was stereo, I would simply select one of these, click stereo, and now these two are linked together. Now, one thing to note is you cannot link an even to an odd. You have to link an odd to an even, meaning that I can link one and two, but not two to three. So some other stereo items that I have are my tracks and my keyboard. My electric guitars are both mono. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the rest of my sources here. So now that I have all my sources set to my channels, what if I was wanting to have a little bit of a different layout on my channels? Well, that's very easy to do. We can simply select our user one layer and then press view. 
And what that does is I can now press into the Assign menu. And what this gives us is all 12 faders here in this section on user one. And I can then go and select any of my channels that I want to place on any of these faders. So I'm going to press that I want to have my vocals first. So I'm going to click and drag. And now I have Danny's vocal assigned on my first fader here. And I can do this one by one. Or if I was wanting to select multiple things and drag them down at the same time, I can do that. So I'm going to show you that with the keys and the tracks. Now another cool feature is that you can assign a DCA directly next to your inputs or an output directly next to your inputs. And I'll show you that here on user two. So I'm going to assign my drums all here. Now I'm going to assign DCA1 as my drum DCA. So I can select DCA1 and drag it down and drop it in right here. And now maybe I wanted to have one of my bus sends as the reverb. I can go ahead and press bus and I can select my reverb for the snare or drums and I can drop it in. Now what's very impressive about this console is you can do this type of customization on every layer. So I can even do this on my channels 1 through 12. So I'm going to select my 1 through 12 up here. I can see that I have all channels 1 through 12. And so let's go ahead and drop all DCAs into my channels here. So I have just changed my channels 1 through 12 to be with my DCAs 1 through 12 which is pretty amazing. So I can do as much customization as I want on this console. Now, if you do happen to uh, have an accident and maybe uh, miss a channel or put it somewhere that you can't find it, if you press view on the center section of the console, you have all of the inputs available to you on the right-hand side. So I can go ahead and select one through eight. Here's my channels one through eight, nine through 16. And so I can go ahead and overwrite any of this just by selecting this on the center section. So that's the end of this video on how to assign a source to a channel. The next video is going to be going over all of my input options as far as gain, phantom power, polarity, all of those things. So stay tuned for that next video.